Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's 48th World. <laughs> yes. And we, I didn't know what it was before I had did my other video. But this video is Shamia's birthday party. Now, I thought Shamia, uh, some time ago, maybe it was last month, she took a picture or pictures with Candy and Portia were in the same room. Okay, the same room. That's that's growth right there. And somewhat enjoying themselves, okay, together. And I got to uh, congratulate Miss Shamia for doing that because she's both she's friends with both women. So to have them come together for a celebration of their friend, that is a good deed. That's a good deed. Now, uh, yeah, because I said she did have a birthday party before. I don't know if it was like uh, a birthday party slash housewarming, but she's giving herself another birthday party. And pulling out all the stops. And I'm here for it. She was very cute. Very cute indeed. And dressed appropriately. And of course, Candy and Portia were dressed appropriately as well. Portia slit. Or her her slit of her dress was a little eye-catching. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, especially when Portia was being so good. So good being a dutiful um uh, fiance and stuff of that nature and she was dressing appropriate you know covering up her assets but i see that didn't last long that didn't last long and i don't know what the hell shamia has on it seems like it should be, should be a wardrobe where she's gonna freak her husband you know like one of those body suits and you start taking everything off depending on what kind of dance you're doing for her. but yeah she was in a lap that's, that's a like a hooker dress on y'all but yes, that's Portia dress. Why I've said it's a little bit too close to that booty. All right. Yeah. I mean, you're showing a lot of legs, sister. A lot of legs. But when you go there in Dubai, you weren't showing nothing. Uh, they teach you about that custom. It's it's lesser. Uh, I mean, more. It's less. Or something to that degree. Hell, I don't know. But. We noticed you were not showing as much skin as you are here. Okay. And I don't know who the two pregnant women are. But uh, I think this one's supposed to be uh, Simon's niece or something to that effect. If I got it wrong, y'all let me know. But yeah, I'm like, are you trying to be Catwoman girl? What is this ensemble going on here? But anyway, um, and she had some more people there taking pictures of her. And that wonderful event she had. And I was there for it. I was like, okay, okay, girl. We got it like that. We got it like that where you can just throw two and three or four birthday parties at the same damn time. Okay. But see, that's another outrageous outfit that that young lady has on. I mean, she might really don't even have no breast, uh, no no material covering her breast. Because you, you can really see it. <coughs> and then her slit is so high up. I don't know what's going on. Do anybody go out tastefully dressed? Yes, I know they do. Because I've seen Portia show up and show out. But I don't know. I just don't understand. Okay. And I guess red was just her theme. Uh, because the cape was red. Red and gold. Okay. All right then. <coughs> I ain't got too much to say. But I would like to know who those two ladies are. That's pregnant. And they're out trying to... Um, I guess, uh, celebrate their, um, Shamia's birthday party. Okay? But, yes, that's why I'm saying that is the, uh, the mediator to these two women here. Because at one time, they could, they had to struggle to tape with each other. But now, it seems like they're bosom buddies again. 
And I don't know what's going on with your candy. Uh, is it a malfunction in the dress or something? Or, girl, why you holding your stomach? Something going on? You finna throw up or something? But anyway, we're going back to this outfit, this ensemble. And Portia, she's like, she loving it, she loving it. And I'm like, Shamia was giving it to her husband as well as any other man that kind of got fixated on her. I'm like, girl, you're the Jezebel running around now. First, I used to call Portia the Jezebel. But it seems like Shamia's turning into a little Jezebel. Uh, not covering up modestly. Uh, but her husband seems to like it. So who are we to make waves, okay? But yes, uh, Portia didn't go to Dubai looking like that. So it has to be a custom or... You know, maybe Simon talked to her about it. Like, well, you can't go over here and dress all risque like you do over in the States, honey. You got to uh, be respectful of the culture and don't say nothing. Uh, only the men can talk. Or this, that, and the third. I'm sure he had a conversation with her. Or maybe someone had a talk with Portia on what items to bring. And what items to keep at home, okay? Because I'm pretty sure if you went over there in Dubai, girl, they probably would have locked you up <laughs> for indecent. What do you call it? Indecent. What indecent proposal? What do they call it? In, indecent proposal or something like that? She, y'all know where I'm going with it. Uh, yeah, he probably got a ticket or a fine, and this young lady would have too. I'm like, I don't know why the imagination to get a man to look at you and try to undress you with his eyes or something. Because y'all ain't really leaving nothing to be undressed. Y'all just letting it all hang out. And we as today women, we should not be wanting to be all sexualized. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to put the assets out there on front street. Because then you start getting like a whole mentality. Unless you got a very good job. Unless you're a celebrity. I mean, you still be viewed as a hoe or whatever. But it's just you with a deal. You know, you could be an expensive hoe. Or you could be an expensive escort. However you want to look at it. Okay? But they know when they're coming to you, it's going to be pricey. Okay? Because you got to be a hoe. You might as well get paid for your services for real. And don't be scared to ask for them seven or eight uh, figures when it comes to spending time with someone that probably could not get anyone if they even big to. You know, that's those kind of like nerds and they dress like nerds. But yet their pockets are swollen with the dough. So... Yes, we didn't try to judge a book by its cover or anything like that. But I think that was a little bit too much. Too much what Shamil was giving us. Especially when other men were going to be in the same room with her and other wives and other girlfriends. Yeah, I think she was doing a little bit too much. And hopefully that is probably why she changed her outfit to the yellow goldish outfit. And Miss Portia, you know, she's got to show us that thigh, that leg, you know, the kneecaps, the ankles. But I'm like, girl, girl <sighs> you just dress for one set of uh, rules and regulations and another one. You know, over here in the States, you're not dressing how, you know, it's covering up your body and, you know, giving the uh, man or men something to wonder about. You know what I'm saying? You're just showing all your assets again, Portia. And I thought we had got you straight where, you know, you didn't need to do this thing to be seen. I mean, you already got the, the banging body. You already got the face. You don't have to dress in this manner, especially uh, Shamia. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Like, I love, got to have more. Don't hesitate but to hit that bell for subscribing, sharing, liking my videos. And you can definitely get down in them comments and let me know what you thought about the um. Uh, the presentation I gave you okay on subject matter all right but I'll see y'all next video thank you bye